Hello, good morning, students. Welcome back to our math class. Today we are discussing again probability tree diagram. Okay, probability tree diagram. How to construct probability tree diagram? Here you can see one example. A question is there. A bag contains five red balls and three green balls. A bag contains A bag contains five red balls. One, two, three, four, five red balls and three green balls. You have to find the probability that two green balls are drawn and next the first ball is red and second is green by using probability tree diagram so let r and z represent the events of getting red and green balls respectively so number of red ball is given 5 number of green ball is given 3 so total number will be 8 now we have to construct probability tree diagram first Here, five red and three green are given. Once up and once down, you can make. Probability of getting red, probability of getting red is 5 by 8 similarly what is the probability of getting green probability of green is number of green by total number of green is 3 and total is 8 Altogether, 5 red were there, that's why 5 by 8 and 3 by 8. Now, again, we can write here. Uh, a ball is drawn and replaced before another ball is drawn. One ball was taken first, again replaced. So, number will not be changed. So, same hybrid and three green are left similarly first one was green then also same if it is replaced then there won't be any changes again another ball is drawn first this now next time again altogether four conditions Either we get both red or both blue, sorry, green, 
और रेड ग्रीन और ग्रेन रेड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग रेड बॉल प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग रेड बॉल इक्वल्स टू दिस व्हाट इज द नंबर ऑफ रेड बॉल इज फाइव एंड टोटल इट इज एट सिमिलरली probability of getting green is g that is 3 by number total number 8 this here again probability of red this is second condition for red we may get Five by eight probability of green getting green is three by eight. Now we can write here. This is probability of getting. Look here. Uh, from here, this is first of all red again red. So probability of red again red. Here probability of first red ball and green ball. So R Z. This probability of now this arrow is made from here. So you can see this way g and r g and r here g and z you can write g1 and g2 as well now next we have to find two green balls are drawn probability of two greens probability of two green balls means probability of first also green second also green now what is the probability of g and g that is we can see from here probability of first g 3 by 8 second also g second g also 3 by 8 so 3 by 8 into 3 by 8 3 by 8 into 3 by 8 Three threes are nine. Eight is a sixty-four. Nine by sixty-four is the probability of getting both green balls. Now, what is the next question? Nine by sixty-four is the probability of getting both green balls. Next question is: first ball is red and second ball is green. Next. probability of getting first ball is red first red and second green equals to probability of red green probability of red green If it was given different color, then uh, red, green, green, red, both you have to do. But it is mentioned here: first ball is red and second is green. 
so r and z now probability of r and z is r z here this is from here first of all r and then z so 5 by 8 3 by 8 5 by 8 into 3 by 8 Now you can multiply this if it can be cancelled you have to cancel if you cannot we have to just multiply 5 3 is 15 8 8 is 64 in the case of with replacement we don't have to reduce okay we don't have to reduce first of all red green now red is 5 by 8 green 3 by 8 again red 5 by 8 Again, green 3 by 8, same. If it was given without replacement, then what should be done? We have to subtract. Okay, let's see. Next question. Okay, next. From or bag containing 4 red and 7 blue balls of the same shape and size, 2 balls are drawn randomly in succession without replacement. Now, without replacement, okay? So, the probabilities of all outcomes in three diagram a pot contains four red one two three four and then seven blue One, two, three, same shape and same size, eh? Five, six, seven. R and uh, blue, so B represent the events of getting red and blue balls respectively number of red ball is given how much uh, four number of blue is given seven so total number is eleven now let's construct diagram Red and seven blue. Now from here, two branches. One is for red, another for blue. Again, from here, probability of first rate is 4 by 11. Red ball are four red ball are there, and altogether, how many are there? How many balls are there? 11. Similarly, here you can find the probability of blue. Probability of 
blue bulb is seven divided by eleven. Now, first of all, one red was one red ball was taken from here. So how many red ball are left? Three. And without replacement. So we don't replace it. So how many red ball are left there? Only three red ball are left. So we shall write three red. But how many blue are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven blue. Now let's make again another branches. For next case, for second drawn, what will be the probability of red now? From here you have to do how many red balls are there? Three red divided by all together only 10 balls are left because now here one is already taken so only 10 are left similarly for next blue number of blue ball is not changed so 7 you can write as it is but total number is only 10 but Total number is only 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similarly, next also you can make. Now suppose if blue ball was taken at first. Then how many blue ball are left? Only six and red four. So four red, six blue. Here, probability of red is 4 by 10 and here probability of blue is 6 by 10. Here, probability of first is red, second also red. Red, red. Probability of first of all red and blue. Probability of first blue. Second red. probability of first blue second also blue now here it is not given to find anything so you can leave this much only otherwise if it was given to find probability of red red then 4 by 11 into 3 by 10 red blue 4 by 11 into 7 by 10 blue red 7 by 11 and 4 by 10 blue and blue 7 by 11 into 6 by 10